Hey, how's it going? Today we are going to check the distance trigger on the Pluto. I already have it going. Um, as you can see, maybe the contrast is quite high in here, but uh, there's the trigger app. You can see that it's trekking us down the road. I have it set for 1,609 meters, which is roughly one mile. Um, we're using the car's odometer over here, except for I forgot to check it when it started. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this run out and then it will, in theory, take a photo and we'll see where it is and then let it go again. Because as long as it is playing, it's gonna go ahead and take a photo every time it reaches that distance. So we're coming up here on the threshold on the phone for one mile and then it'll reset itself. So we're running down the road right now at about 50 miles an hour. So there it just said that it took a photo. The camera did not fire. So one failure under our belts, and that was at about 220.9 on our trip odometer. So at 221.9, I would expect it to take another photo. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we're at 221.9. The phone reset. There was no photo. So this is coming this is becoming a complete failure. I'm going to go ahead and reset this and set it for 800 meters, which is close to a half mile. Push play, uh, see if we can get it to just take a shot. Okay, there it went. It worked, it reset, it took a shot. Um, I don't know why it's so finicky. We've seen in the other modes that it definitely is finicky though. And there are issues with the, the consistency of the shots that are taken. So um, I think that's quite interesting that it only works some of the time. Um, but it definitely did work that time. And we're going to see here in just a second if it works again. Because we're closing in on another 800 meters. So yeah, it went. So that's interesting. Very finicky. Still a cool feature. Um, I'm sure there's some application for this. Maybe if you're doing like a driving sort of time lapse and you have the camera mounted to your car or something, this would be a good application, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyways, there you have it, folks. We're about to get stopped by a school bus, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos and have a great day. So a little bonus content here. I decided I wanted to try this with a shorter distance. I have the car. The camera's over there on the car. Um, I stepped it off and guesstimated that it's about seven meters to the camera. So I'm gonna take off walking and see if I can get this thing to take a selfie. I just was curious to how accurate it was on shorter distances. All right, I, sh I could have mismeasured, I don't know. It should have taken a photo right here. I don't think it did, um, but I don't really know. So we'll have to go over here and check it. See what happens here. Do we have a photo of me? We do not. So it did not work again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try one more time and see what happens. The same parameters. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit further this time and uh, just see what happens since it was off a little bit. So here we go. We're going to take off, see if I can get this thing to allow me to take a selfie. Um, it triggered. I heard it. I heard it trigger. So <laughs> I don't know how accurate that was. Uh, I'll go ahead and go back. I'll do it one more time. All right, here we go. One more, one more go at this. See what happens. And uh, I'll attach the photos here at the end of this. It worked again. So there you have it, folks. Um, the distance thing seems to be fairly accurate on short distances and a little iffy on the longer distances. Um, like most of the Pluto things, like I already said, it seems to be very hit or miss, a little very finicky. Um, still a pretty cool little gadget for however much it cost, $120 or whatever, uh, $130. I don't know. But anyways, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos and have a great day.